What's up everybody? Another day in the Ideal Auto Factory. Welcome back. I'm going to do a quick video on the Rhino Racing Shark and the custom bits that I've put on mine so far. And I'm going to show you this awesome body. It's going to be a very quick video. I hope you guys enjoy it. So here we go. Here is my Rhino Racing YD2 or conversion chassis, you should say, with the direct drive steering system. This is the newest chassis, kind of like the competition or <clears throat> serious chassis for the Rhino Max slash Rhino Racing brand and business. I don't know much to say about the actual intent or approach to this chassis, but I do know that they made this direct drive steering system a while back. And then after a while, they came out with the chassis to fit it. In the rear, we have your standard four gear box with a open diff. Not really gonna get into all the details on this one, but just look at all the purple. We got Yokomo big board shocks, and we have the Rev D front knuckles. You see it's still running the stock rear knuckles. Pretty sure I can find some purple ones, but I'm not gonna beat myself or try too hard to to find that. It looks looks pretty fine to me. The 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 chassis has an adjustable wheelbase right here. The main reason I'm here today is to tell you about this IFS that I have here. This is the MSD FXX standard um, part, uh, part number. I'll leave a link to the kit that I used to make this in the description. But pretty much you need this piece, you need this piece, and from there you start to get you start to get fancy. The turn buckles you need as well. As you can see, that says overdose. So it's not as out of the box as you would think. I did have to actually think and, and use my wits. As you can see, there's a cut here. It used to be nice and round right here to cover the whole bolt, but it's not anymore. It used to look like that, but now I cut it because I had tried something else and it didn't work. So there it is. And in the rear, I have it bolted there with some spacers, some rod ends, and we still have some issues to work out. We, meaning me <laughs> and you guys in the comments for any tips you may have. But right here, it doesn't compress as much as I would like, but it does compress enough. So we got the compression, compression there don't like that it goes uh, downward the, the arms are going down instead of being more parallel like they are here uh, but nonetheless we have these rod ends that can sort of move back and forth a little they rotate this way out just a little bit don't know that plays a big role in my suspension but what I would prefer is a bar that does not rotate at all and then I'm able to put the two shocks on there, the two dampers on there without them being able to rotate more inward or anything. But other than that, here is the Shark chassis with the IFS inboard front suspension. It's pretty much gonna be my test mule of a lot of different things in the rear. You can see how far that spacer is back there very far back um, so that the damper can go onto this rear shock tower but I'm gonna try something a little different I'm gonna try and see if I can get that that damper in the front of course it's gonna require a very long spacer to go that way but hey I, I got my chassis for for drifting and all other stuff this is just fun stuff to me I'm gonna see if I can do the other things but 
I'm rambling at this point, but here it is. And it's on my display wheels, my DS Racing wheels with the rubber-like wheels. They're not hard plastic. They are hard plastic, but they're very grippy, so they don't ever get driven on. One more thing. I do have a, you can barely see it, but that says gyro right there. That says gyro inside. So I have a Theta servo, Razor D1. Uh, took a bit to find it. So it's, it's a servo with a gyro in it. Ackerman needs a little work or the steering angle. I should say, still got to work on that. I want a little more here. You get pretty parallel about right there. If you like more information on this chassis or just more videos in general, please comment down below. And also, you can hit me up on Instagram, you hit me up on Facebook, you hit me up pretty much anywhere, and uh, I'll respond. I'm pretty good at that for now. You know, small channel, nothing too crazy. But there we are. If you guys enjoyed the video, this is the Rhino Racing Shark YD2 conversion with IFS. See you on the next video. Keep that first.